So instead of cleaning this thing up, I was just going to build it and verify that everything is there. Although, probably shouldn't try to build it too much because of the stickers. But the one thing I wanted to check, and I was like, you know what, I need to film this in case I have to react. But <laughs> I want to see if this actually has a 12 volt motor because it says 12V right there. So it should be a 12 volt motor. So we're going to pop this bad boy out and see. It is! <gasps> Oh, sometimes sometimes you're pleasantly surprised so it has the yellow which means that it is indeed a 12v i'm very happy about that i don't know if it'll show up Ugh. but this one is pretty bad so i'm going to replace it with this one it's a pat pending which i think will work so yeah this two by three yeah this one's got pat pending markers so this is actually older it's nasty. I'm definitely washing this. Uh, I can't worry about the stickers. So I separated everything out. But I left these stickers attached. That one's starting to come off. Boy, it feels like it doesn't have very much clutch. Uh, but I'm still going to wash them. Don't think I need to wash this. It stinks, but it's not going to be that visible. Plus, I don't want to get water on the inside of it. piece in there oh I'm glad I washed these I feel a lot better about it hey it's Jabbo welcome to Brigzar in this video we're gonna be taking a look at another vintage Lego train set I couldn't wait any longer so I had to go ahead and finish building this I also want to mention something about the ATAT uh, from an earlier video where I did the show in this one a little bit in action. Maybe I'll test it against the train. I don't know. Uh, but Butter Toast commented on this. There is the ATAT driver. He said the helmet is wrong. And he is absolutely right. Now, I did purchase this on BrickLink. I ordered the... I ordered it by selecting the minifigure that was in set 10178. Uh, the ATAT -AT driver, and I got it, and it looked like it, but there is a slight difference on the helmet that I got with this guy and the one that it was actually supposed to have. So now I'm going to try to order the correct helmet. So I actually went uh, right after I saw Buttered Toast comment, I went and uh, placed a Bricklink order with the seller in the United States, and hopefully it will be the correct one. But this is oh so oh so slightly different to the untrained eye like me and it's not the first time i've used the wrong minifigure or part in a video when i thought i had the set complete now i think this set this train set 725 i think it's complete i actually had one piece left over from what the the uh, guy i bought this from on ebay which surprised me that is actually an extra piece and i think i did go verify actually it's a one by two black brick I went and verified how many are in the set according to BrickLink, which also could possibly be wrong, but according to BrickLink and the instructions, there, I think it was 23, one by two, and that's how many I used in the build. There is a place where you think you might should be putting a one by two, but you don't. Um, and I think that's why there was the extra one. So it was actually complete. Had all the track. Uh, I did clean it because it was pretty nasty. <laughs> And it still needs to be cleaned some more. Uh, but I'm quite pleased with this used train purchase. And I haven't tested it yet, so we're going to do that in this video. I'm going to put the little ATAT -AT guy back down. We might even see how they do against each other. Uh, who do you think will win? Uh, your skirt's up again. Uh, I think the train will win, but we will see. Cannot wait to get rid of this green. It does weird things to the white balance on this. But anyway, it does not come with a transformer, just like the previous one we did, set 720. 
you get the locomotive and so I'm actually going to test this out now. It's powered. This piece here connects underneath the center rails and so your power pickup is there. I'll, sh I'll pick up the locomotive and show you the underside of it again in case you haven't seen a previous video. So let's just test this thing out see if it'll go around. Okay that is literally the first time I've run it. So <laughs> actually surprised uh, this rubber piece is already coming off here on the locomotive so let's take the locomotive off so you can see what I'm talking about it's a little stretch hold on a minute there there's the pickups oh I need to still need to clean the under that one's coming off too tried to fix it a little bit it's going to happen again All right boy this thing looks dirty when I look at it on camera this is after I washed it, so yeah. It's a neat little simple build. It's got this little area here, which is going to be the area that the coal is transferred. Like here's the coal car. See, they got it slightly to one side, so it lines up perfectly oh, when you put the locomotive there. Again, a very simple build. So that's the locomotive and coal car. And check this out. It's a UCS tipper. Ooh, that's a big one. <laughs> it's like a four by twelve uh, tipper there. And we also have. Let me train up a little bit. Uh oh, why is it not moving? Oh, I didn't have it on track. I think this is a tank car. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. And did I build this thing wrong? I feel like it's off center. But I wait a minute. It has to be. Is this the way they designed this thing? I gotta go back and look at the instructions. So it is. It's closer to one side than the other. You got two studs here, one stud there. So two studs, one stud, and then there's three in the middle. So I, I didn't even notice this when I built it, but it is off to one side. You got a little brake right there. And I think this is a brake van. You got opening doors, kind of like a box car. It's got that little window there, so I'm thinking it's like a brake van. Again, everything's super simple to build. doesn't take long at all to build this set. And watch these little tires come off again. <laughs> Coming off. Here's the instructions. Hole punched by Europeans. A big fold out sheet like that so yeah it doesn't take long at all uh, to build this thing I'll show you the part where I think right here I think is where they put that one by two that's like way over there now I think they put it here but it's clearly it doesn't go there that's kind of like an opening to get to the the furnace whatever the boiler whatever you call this place where you throw the coal so it's open but yeah I went through and I counted every one by two brick and it's a little tricky the way they do this because they're off center there and then they'll throw multiple pieces in at a time <laughs> in random places so yeah I went through and counted all of them and it matched up with the inventory and I sure do love vintage box that looks like a little stamp right there D25 that's expert builder basically nice photograph of all the pieces or all the cars that you get with look how clean that one looks wish mine was that clean but uh, let's show you the rest of the box there's the train there's another picture of the train 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 but this is cool the kid with his corduroy shirt I don't know what you call this with this I had a shirt like that when I was a kid this set came out in 1974 so uh, that same time period I think I had one that was orange like this turtleneck with those stripes like that but he's very interested and I didn't I didn't reenact this picture so sorry about that but I did have a haircut like that I think at one time 1974 probably was right there's the replacement wheels or rubbers or whatever they call them and I'm gonna get me a um, trailer base Oh, I need one. This one's missing a magnet. I need the blue magnet because I want to put it in the back of the train. There we go. All right. Whoops. So 
So I'm going to take four of these and replace all those. I think I forgot to mention it, but I really like those connecting rods. I had to take the connecting rod off. It's just a little piece that attaches to, over the stud of the wheel. These should be the right type of wheels that have the little train logo on them. That's the ones you put on the engine. But yeah, little connecting rods. Nice little extra touch to this locomotive. Uh oh, sticker. I'll put this in the back for the camera. So we'll get kind of a right on view here in the back. I gotta turn this thing on first though, don't I? Where's the power button? It's a GoPro Hero 8. Here we go. Let's go for a ride. Uh oh, forgot the train. Come on. Oh no! <laughs> it's really shaky. Come on. I didn't even realize that that piece fell off. Come on. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh. 
think the ATAT -AT is one. Uh oh. The ATAT -AT is born. I'm really surprised with the the ATAT's -AT performance. It actually never fell down. I thought it would least lose stability. Uh, and the movies lied to us. Ewok should have never taken. Oh wait a minute, that was the smaller one. Which one took down the? Oh, it's the uh, the uh, snow speeder. Yeah, the Luke's still hanging on. Never underestimate a Jedi, I guess. But anyway, yeah, it defeated my vintage train m multiple times here. So the ATAT -AT wins this round, even with the incorrect helmet on the ATAT uh, -AT pilot. But I did enjoy looking at this uh, 725 train. I hope you enjoyed looking at a vintage train. Uh, very simple builds. Uh, they had the train bases. I think I forgot to mention that, but it's been like all the trains in the 70s. The cars had those wheels, uh, the the base that. The wheels were attached to, and then pretty simple build after that. Oh, man, the tank car is coming apart. ATAT -AT must have did that. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I've enjoyed uh, doing this. This was a lot of fun. Maybe we'll do some more videos with the trains going around in a larger space. I'm wanting to do that, especially with the blue track. I don't think I've ever done a really large blue track setup. It does take a long time to set up the blue track. It's not as easy as 9 volt, but it's a lot cheaper. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I did wear a different t-shirt. Uh, dial a song, 470-888-0076, if you just want to know. And I will see you tomorrow, and I'll have a different t-shirt on. Bye. ABR. Unbelievable. Remember where the ATAT -AT was? I picked the ATAT -AT up. Yoda was over here. It knocked a piece off of Yoda, which I thought was down here, but it was actually up here, I think. And his head fell off. Careful, you are not, Brixar. Break me again, you did. Oh, look at this. Head's all busted up. My head is. Oh, well, this looks bad. Headache have I now. Mm. Mm.